Here at home, it's illegal to climb, but emergency personnel still find themselves responding to rescues at Morro Rock. And that's why rope and helicopter rescue drills like the one held today are crucial. KSBY News reporter Brooke Martell reports. The drill to train fire personnel is done for good reason and practice. Morro Bay Fire Department officials tell me that rescues here happen fairly frequently. Remember this video from April 2016 when a man had to be rescued from the top of Morro Rock? That's why drills like this take place. The only way that we have the opportunity to execute uh, such great rescues with such precision is from training like we're getting today. Morro Bay Fire Captain Todd Gailey says most of the people rescued from the rock are either from out of town or under the influence. Outside of its dangerous and rugged terrain, there are other reasons it's illegal to climb Morro Rock. It means a lot to all the tribes, even our neighboring tribes. Um, it's a sacred place. It's like a church. It is. Because of the good relationship between the Salinan tribe and Morro Bay Fire, the helicopter rescue training is held with four urban search and rescue team members and four fire officials playing the role of victims. We just hiked our victims in place. You can see one up on the rock there. So our four victims uh, are in place waiting to be rescued. Then it was my turn to get in the CHP helicopter and see the drill in action. Nine agencies from the county took part in the drill including the Morro Bay Police Department, which provided a new perspective. And we're going to be using drones in cases and times where we need to have a quick investigation of the rock, take a look at the rock, see who's on the rock, find their locations. The helicopter isn't always an option, especially when it comes to weather, which is why crews also worked on two separate rope rescue drills, bringing their victims to safety once more. We got to think outside the box up there. We got to utilize a lot of um, strategies that we're trained on, but we don't necessarily always have to implement, but we do have to implement those things up here on Morro Rock. According to Morro Bay fire officials, the drill is done every two years to keep fire personnel ready and prepared for that next rescue because each time they step foot on this rock, they too are putting themselves in a life-threatening situation. In Morro Bay, I'm Brooke Martell, KSBY News. Yeah, which is why it's so important to stress it's illegal. Other agencies that took part include the CHP, Five Cities Fire Authority, and California State Parks.